Good morning, YouTube. So, let me show you my simpler battery box for my game cameras. Uh, this is what I came up with a while back. I intentionally bought camera, game cameras that had the little plug on the bottom. It's just an old Browning. And it's a pretty simple setup. It's a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter DC plug. Uh, 12 volt panel, it's like one and a half watt. Attached directly to the battery box. It's just a uh, Plano uh, ammo box. Put a couple holes in the bottom. No big deal. Bolted it down going to a 12 volt battery and then I use these I had a couple of geese tearing up my plugs so originally they were soldered all these three wires were soldered together geese were tearing up my plugs and so I just switched over to these and I'm actually switching over to a whole nother setup which I've already got a video on where I'm using a lithium cell and a much smaller panel and a much cheaper setup because this little setup not cheap about 20 bucks for the battery 20 25 bucks for the solar maybe it's 20 bucks for the solar and 25 bucks for the battery I don't know five bucks for the box you're talking 50 bucks and you still got the cost of your camera so anyway the other setup using a lithium battery it's like eight bucks or something. It's real cheap, a lot smaller than this, a lot easier to set up out in the field. I I don't hunt. I use trail cameras to monitor my chicken coop. I've got almost 50 chickens, and I like to know what's coming around at night. Um, but I know I've got friends who do hunt, and there's a lot of other people who do, or use these cameras for other purposes, and I'm just hoping to help others out um, as you see though I mean pretty simple wiring I don't use voltage regulators I'll publish another video shortly on that and this thing has worked great um, never had a problem actually with them um, and some of my other ones like I've robbed the batteries out of these because I needed the battery I just make sure to point that whole Come on, focus. The hole right down in here for the one wire. I just always keep that pointed down. And either point it, I'll mount these on the tree. I'll just point them, well, not like this one. But this one, I just mount on the tree. There we are. Like, so, like this. So the panel's pointed up and the holes are pointed down. And don't really have a problem with moisture, too much moisture. You might get a little condensation, but it's not going to hurt a whole lot. But no, they've worked out real well. Um, one of those little terminals. And these little clips, they're rated for like 240 volts, 32 amps. I mean, I'm passing milliamps to it. So they work great. Um, you can use a linear regulator if you're, if you're worried about the cameras. I'll do another video on that though. Um, the solar panels, this one does have a diode in it. Diodes are great to keep at night. Your solar panel will try to consume power from the battery. The diode stops that from happening. The problem with diodes is they will actually consume a small amount of your power so you lose like a really small voltage from the panel to your battery or real small amount of amps um, some of it just depends on the diode you, you you're using on what that loss is with a panel of this size it's not a huge concern but if it's already got a diode built in there's no point in putting a second one these are supposed to I haven't seen it yet, but it could be hiding in heat shrink tubing. But these have also worked really well. I love these panels. Both of them have been great. Anyway, 
I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good one. Bye.